What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some video games that you can get a platinum trophy on that are extremely fun to play, at least in my opinion. Everything on this list I have played and had fun playing, and everything on this list I have gotten a platinum trophy out of. So, let's just get right into this. Up first is the Lego video games. Literally any of the Lego video games has basically the same build and the same kind of mechanics. I have only played two Lego games, but I purchased four of them. The ones that I own are Jurassic World, Lego Super Heroes, Lego Batman 3, and Lego Avengers. And out of those four, the ones that I have played are Jurassic World and Lego Super Heroes. Basically what you do is you have to do two playthroughs of the game of the story and then go around the hub to get all the remaining collectibles. This game does require, like I said, two playthroughs, which a lot of people are against. But the main reason I picked up these games is because, number one, a lot of them are regular $25 to $30. I bought them when they were on sale around Christmas time for $8 each. So number one, they had a lot of savings at the time that I purchased them, and I see them all the time on sale more frequently now. And also, it reminded me so much of my childhood. I remember having the physical Lego and also the Lego video games from back in the day on the computer. And that's why I wanted to try out these ones here. So, like I said, two playthroughs. You basically play one playthrough as normal, um, whatever characters they select for you for each mission. Once you have that done, then I usually go and I go through the hub and try to get all of the collectibles there. And then I go back to one more playthrough where you can go and choose any character for any level and it makes it easier and you can get finish off all of the collectibles in the second playthrough because there's some that are restricted to certain characters and the only way you can get those certain characters is to go and play i think it's called free play and you can select any character along the way so definitely would recommend them like i said i have lego batman 3 and lego avengers i'm going to wait till the end of the year to play them because i have so many games on the go right now that i'm working on I don't really have time for Lego games. I know I can get the Platinum on them in the future, and I definitely can't wait because they're a lot of fun to play. These ones here, I don't typically like games that require two playthroughs, but the Lego games were a lot of fun. Next up on this list is a game called Onrush. I got it free from the PlayStation Store a couple months ago. It is a fun game. It's a racing game where you have to smash opponents in different events. There's different rules and different things that you have to do, but... Honestly, it is a little bit of a grindy of game, but if you play co-op with somebody, you can play campaign as co-op, team up with a friend, that's when this game is fun. Playing it by yourself and trying to grind out on it can be exhausting and you can become bored fairly quick, but if you're playing with a friend, I was playing with Jack, it makes it so much fun because you guys actually enjoy the time you're spending together rather than just grinding out on a game to get a trophy and get a platinum for it. Like I said, you can get a Platinum for it, but I would definitely recommend if you're going to play this game to play with a friend and team up in co-op. The next game is Spider-Man. This is one of my favorite games of 2018. It was a sound game all around. The mechanics were phenomenal. I bought this game because, number one, I'm a huge fan of Marvel. I'm a huge fan of Spider-Man. I remember the Spider-Man games back on the computer back in the day, and I enjoyed them. But I was expecting bigger things because of the new technology for video games as of right now in the current market. And Spider-Man, the mechanics was phenomenal. I enjoyed the game. In the game, there's so much to do. The story was amazing. There was a Stan Lee freaking cameo. Everything about the game was awesome. And it's not like traditional Marvel games or superhero games where you have to go and do this. Now you have to go do this. Now you have to do this. You can go and follow the story. Or if you get bored of the story and you want to try to do other things, there's side missions, there's collectibles, there's a whole bunch of other things, photos that you could take around the city. Just there's so much to do in the game. It is phenomenal. Like I said, I did get a platinum. I played this for about two to three weeks straight and I did have a job at the time. So I had a lot going on and a lot of people got the platinum sooner, but it took me two to three weeks because I was just on my free time. I'd play it and I'd only play this game on my free time. And that's how I got the Platinum in two to three weeks. So story was amazing. I had fun with this game. I kind of wish there was more super villains in it. I kind of wish for Venom and Sandman and Green Goblin. But hopefully there's talk that there's going to be a second game in a couple of years for Spider-Man. A continuation from this one. 
and I'm really excited for that. I already know Avengers is going to be coming out at the end of 2019, maybe it's going to be 2020, and I'm really excited for that, but I want to see another Spider-Man game in the future. The next game is Need for Speed 2015. Usually when it comes to me, I can't platinum racing games, but this game was very special because it was so much fun. I remember the Need for Speed games back on the PlayStation 2, which I fairly enjoyed because I got so many of them and I had fun doing it because I'm the type of person when it comes to cars, I love the customization factor. I don't care so much as to what's under the engine. I just want to make it the most stylish vehicle that I can and I care so much about customization. That's why I love Need for Speed. In this game, they brought back and I kind of advanced one of my favorite features in racing games and that is drifting. In this game, it was so fun to drift because you can have one single car, you can change the adjustments to make it a drift car or to make it a race car. The one thing I want to say with the newest one, Need for Speed Payback, that I'm not a fan of is the fact that you have to purchase a different vehicle for each class not like the 2015 version where you can use one vehicle for any class, you just have to change how you use it. So that's why I love 15 so much, got the platinum. Some of the trophies are a little bit of a grind, you have to do specific things, but it's a lot of fun. So if you have the time and dedication and you wanna play a racing game, if that's what you're into, racing games is one of my favorite genres of video games. So I definitely would recommend Need for Speed 2015. Next on this list is literally any Telltale games. The ones I have played are The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, Batman, and Borderlands. Most of these games I got for free on the PlayStation Store over the five years that I've had it, but you can get them relatively cheap. Usually you get them from anywhere from five to $10. Out of all of the Telltale games that I own and that I downloaded from the PlayStation Store, I only spent less than $10 on all of them. Like I said, some of them I got for free, a couple I got for a dollar or two, and I think the most that I spent on one game uh, for Telltales was $5. So there is discounts there. Now, one thing I want to mention about Telltales is since the company is no longer existing, there is rumors that all of the Telltale video games are gonna get pulled from the store relatively soon. So if you're interested in the Telltale games, I recommend downloading them as soon as possible. Now, as the time this video gets uploaded, it might have already happened because I never checked as of right now to see if they've already pulled their games, but that is the rumor right now. Basically, Telltale games, the gameplay is iffy. There's not much to do. You're basically making decisions along the way, but it honestly doesn't matter what decisions you make because the Telltale games are going to play out the way they're supposed to regardless of your decisions. Very minimal gameplay, but the graphics are unique to Telltale. It's almost like it's hand-drawn, which most of the time I'm not a fan of in video games where it's kind of cheap graphics, but in this one it makes completely sense. So I would recommend trying any Telltale games. My favorite was The Walking Dead, but you have to try out and see what you guys enjoy the most. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. This is a game I got back on the PlayStation 2, and I never really finished the game because back then I was just kind of chilling, blowing stuff up using cheat codes. But for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, when it came out on the PlayStation 4, the one thing was with the trophies, if you use a cheat code, it disables all trophies. And me being a trophy hunter, I wanted to get all those trophies because when I purchased it and looked at the trophy list, it seemed like something I can get a platinum out of. It wasn't something that I intended to get a platinum out of, but I did. It was a lot of fun. Not only playing the story got you a lot of trophies, but after you complete the story or along the way for completing the story, there's a lot of trophies to go ahead and go and do kind of like side missions, the ambulance missions, fire truck missions, different things like that were a lot of fun purchasing certain things, going and doing certain things, got you the other trophies. So it wasn't just complete the story and you get the platinum, you complete the story and you do a whole bunch of other stuff, which were fun to do. And then you got the platinum. So at the end of the day, for me at least, this reminded me so much of my childhood. It was so much fun to do. I really enjoyed playing it. And if you have yet to play it on the PlayStation 4 or have never played it back when it came out on the PlayStation 2, I highly recommend it. So the last game on this list is, in my opinion, one of the most fun ones to play, and that is Far Cry 5. Not only is the gameplay amazing and the story is amazing, but the story itself is so unique. And this is honestly the first Far Cry game that I played, and I can't wait to play more in the future. I might go back and play some of the old ones because honestly, I had such a blast with this game. In Far Cry 5, 
there's not only the story to go and do, but there's so much to do after that. There's hunting, fishing, whole bunch of stuff to do. So the fact that it's not just complete the story and get the platinum trophy for it, which they are kind of fun to do as well, but the fact that there's so much to do outside of the campaign, that's what really made this game so much fun and so awesome to play. There's also multiplayer, which is really fun to do. It was a little bit of a grind for the trophies, but it was really fun to do and I'd recommend playing that. But one thing I didn't like for the trophies is there's a lot of solo trophies. So you have to go and play the story in the campaign on your own, pretty much one run through to get all those trophies. And then you can team up with somebody and play campaign as co-op and to clean up and get the rest of your trophies. But like I said, you have to play at least one run through as a solo on your own and complete the whole campaign in order to get a lot of those solo trophies. For me, I'm not a fan of solo trophies. If I want to have fun, if I want to bring a friend in and play co-op, I should be able to do that and get the rest of the trophies. But it's still a fun game and I would highly recommend it. So much to do, so much to see in the game. The gameplay is amazing. There's so much wildlife, which I was not expecting. At the end of the day, I really enjoyed this game. So out of this list, the top three that I would recommend would be Spider-Man, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and Far Cry 5. The only thing I want to say with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is it is not a remastered, it is not a remake, it is the same old PlayStation 2 graphics. So I wasn't really into that. It was hard with the controls because the new GTA is like regular games nowadays with the controls, but back then they were kind of iffy and hard to use. So it was hard to go back and play that so that Gameplay was a little bit hard to get used to, but I did get a platinum trophy out of it. So those were the three most fun ones. Not that anything else on this list was not fun to me to get the platinum for, but those are the three that I would highly recommend. Everything on this list, honestly, I would recommend because I had so much fun playing and getting the trophies and getting that platinum. But like I said, I did not purchase these video games in the intention of getting a platinum. I purchased these video games to have fun and to play these games and it just so happened to turn out that I could get a platinum trophy and get a whole bunch of trophies at the same time and that to me getting the platinum trophy and all the other trophies was just a bonus. I just bought the game to have fun and to play and to get a platinum out of it was a lot of fun. So that's why I wanted to make this video to share with you a bunch of fun video games that you can get a platinum trophy for. That way, if you guys want to have fun and boost your trophy count and boost your platinum count, you can do that and have fun doing it. So, hope you guys did enjoy this game. If there's any games that I've missed, maybe I have yet to play them, and you had fun playing the video game and you did get a platinum trophy out of, leave them down below. I really want to see other games. Maybe I'll expand and I'll get into different games. Not really with the intent of getting a platinum, but to have fun and play that game. Let me know what you guys play down below and gotten a platinum for. But I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please take care. Peace.